Hey everybody, let's hit that ODR for another YouTube vid. Oh, still a bit bumpy. Hi everybody, today at Marshall's Hockey School, I'll be showing you how your skate blade works. This is something that in the last couple of years I've been explaining more and more to my students who I coach, regardless if it's a beginner or a pro. We've been taking the next step from seeing them do something maybe not quite right and telling them how to change their body positioning to the next step, change your body positioning because your blade will then do this and you'll be able to perform the skill better. And I find with a lot of players and skaters, it really makes click. Okay, this is what I have to do with my blade to perform the proper skill, and that's been really helping them. So I'm gonna to explain to you what the different parts of our skate blades do and what they are actually used for. Let's get started. So I don't really need the stick for this video. If you're a hockey player, obviously keep the stick in your hand, but I know a lot of you watching the channel just like enjoying to go public skating and then you won't have a stick in your hand. So I'm gonna put it away. Like I said, if you play hockey, keep the stick in your hand, no big deal. So basically there are three main parts of the blade. You could go a little further and say, okay, well there's four, but we'll keep it simple. We'll have the back part of the blade, the mid part of the blade and the front part of the blade. And obviously there's also mid to front and back to mid a little bit. And we'll start at the back and work our way forwards. So the back part of the blade or your heel is designed for turning, carving a curve. I'll show you how it goes. So if I wanna come and make a curve this way, then I'll put my weight on the back, especially on my outside foot, not quite as much on my inside foot, but definitely on the outside foot. And the heel is sort of like a rudder. You can see here when I'm pushing, I'll try to get a few close-ups for you as well. I'm really pushing with my heel and that's allowing me to go in a circle, go in a curve, take a turn. And I find, in fact, a lot of beginners don't really have a problem with this because most beginners stand a little too straight. So I want you to try the next time you're on the ice just to get a feel what part of your blade is on, you're on by changing your body positioning a little bit. So stand up really straight and I think you'll feel that a little bit more, more of your weight is on your heels. Now the more you go, you bend your knees, bend your hips, go forward from the waist, the more you're gonna start leaning forward. And you see as I'm leaning forward, I'm actually starting to glide a tiny bit by myself. So the back part of the blade, the heel, is designed for doing a curve. So here's a look at myself making a turn in slow motion and take a look at my outside foot. You can see as the skate comes around, all the snow spraying off the back part of the blade, all my weight is on my heel. mid part of the blade. What's the mid part of the blade for? The mid part of the blade is gonna be generally good for gliding, which is very important because if you're skating the entire time through a shift or a public skating, you're gonna get tired. So gliding is really important and we do not wanna be standing too straight up or having weight on the heels when I'm gliding because it just digs completely into the ice. Gliding is more for the middle part of the blade and I can get on the middle part of the blade, like I just showed you, going a little deeper, waist forward, and you can find that you will feel more weight on the mid part of the blade. So gliding is the mid part of the blade. Now, depending on how your skates are sharpened, how the profile of the blade is, profile is how round the actual complete blade is, way beyond the scope of this video, there may be, you might be, your gliding part of the blade might be a little bit more for forwards or more backwards, but in general, just think for yourself, okay, if I wanna glide really nicely, I wanna get on the middle part of my blade. So, question a lot of beginners have, oh, I'm struggling with my hockey stop. Everybody wants to learn how to stop. I have a full, video up on that, your problems with the hockey stop. 
I'll post it up here. But just quickly, hockey stop. Shaving the ice is done more with the mid to front part of the blade in general. So a lot of problem that the beginners have is that they're too far on the heel and their heels dig in, but they cannot shave the ice. So get forward at your waist, bend those knees, get a little bit on the middle to front part of the blade. And once again, a couple of close-ups of me stopping and you can see where the snow is spraying from the mid to front part of the blade. Don't go on your heels, get on the mid to front part and you'll be stopping much easier. I'll give you one more tip to that later. But before I go there, let's talk about the front part of the blade. So what part, what does the front part of the blade do? And the front part of the blade is for acceleration. Now, it is a little bit of a fa fallacy that a lot of coaches still say, okay, when you want to accelerate, when you start, you got to get on your toes and start like this. That is not how you accelerate. But the front part of the blade, regardless of if you're striding, or crossing over. Or accelerating. The front part of the blade is the last part of the blade that you end up on. And it gives you that extra little toe flick, that extra little power. The misconception is though, that we have to be the entire time on the front part of the blade, and that is really complicated. No, when I am accelerating, I actually hit my full blade on the ice, push off, ankle flexion, and then the last part is in fact made from the toe, and that gives you extra speed, which is why it's extremely important, but you don't want to be running around on the front part of the blade. So I'll, cr I'll try to show you from the back how I'm gonna start quickly, so maybe you can get an idea what part of my blade is on the ice at the start of the start of my quick start and how I end up. So let's give it a try. And obviously I need a little bit more room here than my ODR to do a full sprint start. But I hope that was able to give you a little bit of an idea of how my blade goes when I'm accelerating. It's actually my full blade hitting the ice, then pushing off, and then off the front or the toe. So one final point, and it doesn't have to do with the heel, the mid, or the front part of the blade, it has to do a little bit with blade angle. Also, how your blade works in the ice. So, the more I angle my blade, the more it's gonna dig into the ice, the more I'm gonna be in kind of a rut. And this is good for cornering, but this is a huge problem that a lot of players have if they're trying to stop or shave the ice. And their ankles have such a crazy angle, that they can't stop. Or, for example, doing a so-called punch turn, where my outside edge will dig into, my outside foot will dig into the ice, but my inside foot needs to shave the ice a bit, looks like this. Often, they have such a crazy angle on the inside foot that their inside foot digs into the ice and they have no chance. So, blade angle, whatever you're doing, extremely important. So simple, look at it this way. My blade's angled like this, I want to make snow, I'm not making any snow. The less my blade angle, the easier it is to shave the ice, the easier it is, easier it is to do the punch. So very important, blade angle, this will grab the ice more, less angle will shave the ice better. So I hope this video was helpful in explaining to you how your blade works because I find you know how your blade works, you know how you're getting to, to get in the proper body positioning and you're gonna skate better. 
If you like this video, don't forget to click on like and subscribe. Have fun practicing, whether it's on your backyard rink or at the arena. And see you next time at Marcel's Hockey School.